those of us who covered the run-up to her trial that led to her conviction on April 15th, it surprises some of us that if this winds up being true, that it should end this way. Uh, she's a fighter. And the, I guess, best example that comes to mind for myself is when the telephone records came out from the business that she ran, and the records themselves were peddled in such a way to benefit her as a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. She needed to raise money to help with her defense. Mm -hmm. And during the, uh, the run-up to the trial itself, she actually filed papers with the court that she'd be allowed to sell some of her stock uh, investments that had been attached by, by prosecutors to possibly pay off uh, any fine or other restitution that might have been involved because she said the value of the stock was going down. So this kind of nuts and bolts detail uh, just struck us as someone that really had a handle on things. Yeah, and, it, and here it, you talk about that and she's you know, claiming that everything that she was doing was legal. Uh, the name of her business, Pamela Martin and Associates at the time, right? Um, yes, that's that. It ran for more than a dozen years in what was considered a ring around the D.C. area. Some of it was based at a telephone number in Maryland that then was forwarded to her uh, her business, her primary business location in California, and apparently involved quite a number of people coming through the D.C. area. Mm -hmm. We talked about a number of people, uh, Paul, who were caught up in this. Um, and David Vitter, who is a Republican senator from New Orleans, um, was one of them. And then also, when these phone records came out. There were a lot of people in Washington who were concerned that their names might show up on this list as well. Yes, and we thought that was possibly part of her motivation in trying to, as I, as I put it, it was my word, to peddle the telephone records around. Clearly, she wanted the telephone records out there. But what existed was a tally of telephone numbers without the names or, or any other customer identification attached to it. So she needed help, and of course she turned to the media to try and track backward who those telephone numbers may have been linked to.